who's happy to jump up and just do a 50. It's not hard, like seriously, it's, the, the only thing you really got to do is just dive off the blocks, come in and touch the wall. So just do 50 and I'm just going to show a time. I don't care if it's 50 seconds. Yeah. You do one? Yeah. Yep, you too? Excellent. So I'll get you guys up and, and do that. So just jump in, do um, just do a couple of hundred to warm up and we'll go from there. Cool, thanks guys. Yeah, just in lanes one and two. Excellent. Thanks guys for coming along. Uh, I'll be, try not to take too much time because I know you guys have got to get back to the next, uh, the next conference. I've got a few swimmers which I've managed to wrangle up and we're going to show you a little bit about how the auto coach system works. We'll go through a quick little race simulation. We'll do a few little training practices and um, a few training techniques that you can use. Uh, and then we've got a couple of uh, other little surprises to show you. Um, now I've just told them to do uh, a couple of hundred warm up. So, you know, obviously the start of a, uh, a training session, get them to warm up, do whatever. You can use the system, you don't have to. Uh, and then I'm going to get uh, two of them up and we'll do a quick little race simulation. Now, one of the advantages of the system is just how realistic it is to a normal big meet. And we'll try to make it as, uh, as similar to MSAC or to, you know, the Statesman Centre um, or the, the Sydney uh, Olympic Centre so that when they do get up for the big meets, they're not scared. They're not like, oh, this is all different, different sounds, different everything. And I'll show you that uh, when, we, uh, when we get there. Should have made a 150. Who of you here, who of you has got an auto coach system at the moment? Hands up, he's got an auto coach system. So we've got a few, we've got a few. So hopefully you'll, you'll learn not only um, you know, what's capable, but uh, maybe a few areas that you might be able to utilize that you hadn't thought of before. Another, another benefit of, uh, of the system is, uh, as some of you will know, is as a PA system. So I can talk through the speaker down there and talk to everyone through the one thing. Not many, not many stopwatches will be able to do that. Uh, so I'll get these guys up when they've finished this lap. and we'll get through a quick little race simulation. How do you clear it? What do you want? On watch, just hold down, hold down that button and it clears it. Nice and easy. Um, now, obviously the watches come in, you know, it's important, different colours. Obviously I've gone gold today. Uh, just for some odd reason. Um, I just feel better with gold around my neck. Um, but uh, it's quite good. We've got a whole bunch of different colours and that sort of thing, which uh, you know people really enjoy. How far are they going? But oh, it's a K warm-up. Okay, I'll get them to stop. Jump up. Is that it? Good. Done. I really need a device that we're going to show you in a second to do that. Jump up. Okay. So with the, with the new AutoCoach uh, manager, the, the software on the computer. So who are our two swimmers? I'll get two swimmers up to ready to go. So give us a hoy when you're ready. Um, so the new AutoCoach management system on the computer, you can run a full race meet relays, you can do handicaps, we can do pretty much everything uh, on there. And this, um, you know, it's as easy as just literally plugging it in and going. We don't want anything complicated, we just want to do it. And you can in fact do a, a race uh, ad hoc. We can just put together a, mate, a meet and actually change it on the go. So we'll get the first two swimmers up. I won't do a second whistle for the backstroker because he knows. Take your marks. So exactly the same whistle, exactly the same take your marks as they would normally get. Now obviously the more that you click into the system, the more lanes you can cover. Uh, but just me, I'm very happy to, to cover two. If I had another watch, I could do another, uh, another two lanes. And as they come through, So 327, 337. 327, 337. Well done. Um, so we're um, 
so we, you know we can do a full race like that so that was just a, a quick ad hoc um ad hoc you know race sort of meet now with um with this what i might get you to do i'll get you to do some 25s so everyone over in lane one i'm going to do 25s uh, so just swim down solid here and then easy back in the other lane so really easily we can do uh, quick 25s uh, and i'll tell you when so in about three seconds eight nine go and now that will automatically send all the swimmers off in uh, 10 second uh, gaps and I can come down here and I can watch the swimming. I don't have to go up there. That's taking care of itself. I can take, I can take times of people. So I'll get, uh, I'll get a time down here. That was thinking it was the first person. Um, so, so I can get times, it'll automatically go, and they can just keep going. I can go and have a coffee. Nine. It's pretty good. Yep. Um, so that can just keep them going. It takes, you know, it stops you being a timekeeper, and you can actually do some coaching and actually walk along Eight. and get them all going. Nine. Yep. Now that'll just keep going until I basically press stop. So there's a simple interval, and you can change the mode, so you can set that up for 25s, for 50s, Nine. For 200s, 400s, whatever you like, and you can change how many people it will, uh, it will do very, very simply. All right, we'll stop that. Now, next, we'll do pace. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do 350s, guys. So just in, in we'll go th three and three. So jump back into lane two. We'll go three and three, and, uh, and we'll do really simple uh, 350s. So ready to go, first one. So go. So first swimmer. So now we're going five second intervals. Okay, and you can go to, I set it up just for three people, but they missed, they missed the first one. So now that'll automatically go. Every 50 seconds, it'll send the, the next person off. No more you know, swimmers saying, oh, how many have we done? You know, when do I go or anything like that? And so as you heard, that said, you know, lap 1.1. So that's the first, first repetition, first person. 1.2, first repetition, second person. And so now when it comes up to 50, it'll say lap 2.1. So second repetition, first person again. So ready to go. So that's first person. And you can make it change. I've shown you three different uh, sounds to start it off. The take your marks, the eight, nine, and the beep. You can choose which one of them works best for you. So now that'll take care of itself. So they're doing, all, they're doing the whole set and I haven't done, had to do a thing. I can take times, I can take ratings. I can do a whole bunch of stuff while they're doing this. Any questions, any thoughts while we're making these guys get tired? Did we give them anything? Did we give them lunch? I don't know. So we'll get them to do one more. So on the 50 guys. You know how you've set that? Yeah. You can set it now. I can, I can change it now. I can change the time cycle. I can, yeah, do whatever. So it's just got it here. So pace 50 and getting probably coming in about the 45. And it'll work out and it'll tell you how many people can fit. It'll actually do the maths on how many people will fit and you won't overlap. Oh, so you can yeah, say you can, you've only got space for 50, yeah. uh, only got space for seven, but you've got eight people who go, I'll change the time cycle, I'll change the gap to seven and a half seconds then, or five seconds, so it'll work it out for you. Yeah, does that make sense? So you, so you see how many people that are? Yeah, it'll tell you up the top. It'll tell you up the top, I'll stop this now because they're doing it, they're, um, so it'll tell you up the top three people at five seconds apart and they'll be coming in somewhere between 37 and 53 seconds. Okay. So it'll tell you the time cycle between all of that. Now the other thing that we can do, now you guys aren't gonna like this, but we're gonna do, we're gonna do 50s now. What's gonna happen, we're gonna start on 50 seconds just like you've done, but each, each repetition is gonna drop by three seconds. So next one's gonna be four, 47, next one's gonna be 43. Yeah, you get it? Okay. So this is a test, so. Okay, good. So what I've done here is this is a thing called a pace test. 
and this is something really unique and I know that we used to do this and my coach used to hate the maths behind this. Now you can change all of the settings on this but the basic gist is this is level one. This is basically like a beep test for the pool. So, lap, so level one is on 50 seconds. I've chosen 50 seconds because I know they can do that. And I can descend that each cycle by half a second up to five seconds in half second increments. So now I've got these guys, I've thought three seconds, that'll drop down pretty quickly. And this is a really good test set. You know, a lot of coaches want to know a test set to see where their swimmers are, to see what their fitness is like and where they are in the, in the program. Level, uh, we're coming up to um, here. So lap two. Go on that. The next one, this one's on 47. So when they come in now, they'll have a little bit less rest. So they're going to have to get speeding up really quickly and we'll probably get a few dropping off after a few 50s. So you can do this obviously in swimming, in kick, in whatever works for you. So I don't know if anyone's tried to do this sort of thing before, but the maths is terrible. And everyone, li everyone likes the idea, but you've got to go, hang on, we're going on the 27 now. No, hang on, it's the 24. No. So this does it all for you. All the maths for you. And then they'll know next time. They'll say, look, last time we did the test set, and I do this, I do some work at Genizano uh, with Gen Aquatic, and we do this, we start at about 110 for kick or a minute for swim, and we drop it down by one second. And so the guys will know, oh, I made it to level 22 last time, let's see if I can make it further on. And so it, it becomes, we call it the king of the hill, and I know um, Vic Center do it as well. And you know, there's a lot of pride on that. I know um, when they do it at Vic Center, Mac Horton wins all the time, but uh, as you'd expect. But, um, but you know, there's still a lot of pride, and there's still, you know, you can really test how you're going. So we would do test sets of 7100s and all this sort of stuff, and there are a lot of test sets out there, but this is a great one. It's fun for the kids and they get a real sense of accomplishment because they can see their result up on the board as they come in. So now you can see this one's on 44. So we're coming up to 40 seconds now, so they've only got four seconds rest. And away we go. Pretty good? What do you reckon? How many more do you reckon they're going to get going? They'll be all right. So you get the idea of that. Now, there's one more bit that I want to show you. Should we put them out of their misery? No? No, we're getting a lot more shakes than nods. No, I'll put them out of their misery. <coughs> so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so, each, so each watch will be on a network and that network is coded for you and, and no one else. So if someone else comes along to your session with a watch, good job guys, um, with, uh, with someone else comes along with a watch, it won't interfere with, with your network. <laughs> but within your network, there are 30 channels. So if you get a system with a number of watches, when you press yours, it will invariably set all the other ones off as it would like to in a race mode or whatever. But if you don't want that, you just change the channel and you can have up to 30 different programs running at the same time. So you can have one panel and one watch on each lane and have you know, different programs running all of that. And then when it's a race time, you just change all the channels back very, very simply, just turn the dial and away you go. If you guys haven't sort of seen this, I probably should have introduced the watch. The watch